Hi there and welcome to the first WinFlare vlog. In this video tutorial I will try to show you how to achieve basic internet connectivity to a, through a MicroTik. Um, at first MicroTiks could be a little bit overwhelming when you're getting used to your normal uh, TP-Link or, or other uh, usual uh, router device for home use. But once you're getting used to it, it's a really powerful and flexible device um, which can achieve a powerful options. I'm using in this tutorial the RB2011 um, MicroTIC which has two switch groups. So let's start by connecting to our MicroTIC. Okay. So here I am and there is no default configuration at the moment, so we are starting fresh. So if you want to start at the same point as I have, you have to go to system and then reset configuration and you use no default configuration when you reset it. Alright, so uh, I, am using, I am using my home internet for the one port which will be the ethernet port one on the MicroTIC so I am simulating some internet provider settings just with my private home network it will be fine for this tutorial but you can specify your provider details um, instead um, usually you will get those details from your provider and depending on the type of the connection it could be a PPPoE connection or, or a DHCP provided connection or you have a cable modem uh, up front your MicroTIC and then you will have similar settings as either. So in this tutorial I am simulating my private home network and therefore I will go to IP and to DHCP client and uh, I will obtain an IP address for the Ethernet port 1 and you see I, uh, I have uh, obtained an IP address from my home network which will be my one address in this tutorial um, the next step is to create a private network on the MicroTIC and to bridge the ports um, here is the interface list. This MicroTIC has 10 ports, 2 switch groups. 1 to 5 is one switch group and 6 to 10 is the next one. So port 3, 4 and 5 will be a slave from port 2. And it will kick me several times out while I do so. out because I have modified the port which this computer is connected to. Now I will go from port 7 to 10. Next switch group. And there is also an SFB port and a VLAN port which we will not use in this tutorial so I will ignore them. Next step is to create a bridge. And add our two master ports into the bridge. So it will kick me out again. All right reconnect and uh, you can see that the slave ports are dynamically added to the bridge now let's add our second master port into the bridge and the other ports are added into the bridge as well the next step is to create a DHCP server for a private subnet and we can go straight ahead and use the wizard. 
um, we have to use the LAN bridge port which we created for the DHCP in this case and now let's define our address space no relay needed and the addresses to give out I will just use the whole, uh, whole subnet or mostly the whole subnet starting from 10 and ending with 254 and let's define the DNS server so we can use the the automatically provided ones from the private uh, subnet I am using on my one port or we can specify our own for example the open DNS DNS service and the second one is a Google DNS and the least time and basically we are done and it's red because we haven't specified an IP address on our LAN bridge and that's the next step we're going to do Okay. we have specified one as our gateway so we'll, I will use that IP address on our bridge and uh, you can see now that uh, the HCP server is working with an active lease which is my computer okay the next step is to to provide the internet connectivity therefore we need to create a NAT rule which will say source NAT outgoing interface is Ethernet 1 and action is masquerade okay, and this will masquerade the traffic behind the, the one address and give us internet connectivity and this is about it we can already see that there is traffic going through our rule and if we take a look on IP routes we will see that there are automatically created um, routes for us and it will basically say that everything which goes to the internet is going through the one IP address and now let's test the internet connectivity Thanks for watching, please subscribe and let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comments below. Thank you and this was my first tutorial for Winflare, please excuse any mistakes and bad audio quality.